what's up man i wanted to go ahead and do a video about this um new tv show that's coming out in january on showtime called the shy and for people who do not live in chicago the shy is a nickname for the city of chicago now i saw the pilot to the tv show a couple of days ago and i instantly noticed some inconsistencies in it first thing is that the TV show focuses on a murder that took place on the 9 and anybody who lives in Chicago knows the 9 is like 79th Street but some of the main scenes were shown on 21st Street on the west side you know also a couple of the characters were standing on the Kezi pink line uh, platform uh, for the for the um, subway trains so they were standing on a platform and you could see Garfield the green line Garfield banner on there too now the Garfield train don't run on the same track that far. It breaks off after Polk Street and then go its own separate way. And it definitely doesn't say Garfield. Garfield is basically 55th Street. So I'm assuming like the producers, they probably got a um a um you know Garfield banner and put it up there, you know, and whatever. But uh, you know, another inconsistency was okay, this murder that happened on a nine and the the main characters on 21st Street unless the main character rode his bike from 21st street to 79th street it don't really make any sense and from what i remember 79th and kezzy is not really like that hood so he would have to literally go over east you know that's a long way to ride you know so there's like you know an empty hollow spot as far as that goes um another thing is that the chicago cops in that tv show was extremely nice now in real life they ain't that nice at all you know, this cop was giving the main character compliments, talking about, yeah, you know, he's a smart boy. He's a smart boy and whatever. Number one, if he was really a smart boy, he wouldn't have went over to that dead body. Like when you hear gunshots, you know to go the other way. You don't go toward the gunshots. You know what I'm saying? That's just basic street smarts. Also, he wouldn't have tried to take the, you know, the guy's chain, you know, the uh, dead body's chain and, you know, all this extra stuff. Now... He, he gets locked up because he got blood and people seen him over the dead body and stuff like this. If he was really smart, he wouldn't have done that. Also, if he was truly, truly smart, he wouldn't have been talking to the police anyway. Because he said some very incriminating things that was more than enough to get him arrested for murder. You know, in Chicago, I mean, and, and I'm assuming in other places too, all they have to do is basically have you at the scene of the crime and they can charge you with the with it. And I'm assuming that you're not going to get a bail on, on, on murder like that. So, you know, people seen him at the crime. He admitted it and just all this extra stuff, you know. And yeah, from where I'm from, they they would have they would have definitely had to have him him up in there. But somehow he got a bail, you know, he got a bail and got out the same day that that don't don't happen here, you know, but yeah but as far as the show it has the resemblance of the wire kind of not, well, not really the wire but it has like power 50 cents tv show power similar to that so it, it has that feel but um yeah also jason mitchell he played easy e in the uh, movie straight out of compton and he really had the Chicago lingo down packed. So, you know, I really appreciate that from him. But one thing that, that kind of, you know, that I didn't like was he was saying foe. He was saying foe. Now, <clears throat> there's a guy named Rico Reckless who interviewed with Vlad TV. And he was talking about the term foe nim. Okay. Foe nim really means foe and them. Okay. So foe is a person. And he was saying like how the word foe, foe them can be applied to anybody. I'm assuming that Rico Reckless is from a foe hood. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming that. In his hood, it's probably normal for, you know, the little young dudes to call each other foe. Yeah, foe. Yeah, foe and whatever. But if you are not from Chicago and you come here, never ever say foe and them. Never ever say it because it has gang implications, okay? Foe can be applied to GDs. A lot of GDs say foe. They, they'll be like, yeah, what a foe? What a foe? You know, um, you ain't knocked nobody out today, foe, and stuff like that. Or it could be 4CH. A lot of Four Corner Hustlers, you know, I think they call themselves foe, if I'm not mistaken. So, never ever say foe. Because if you're in a stone hood, or if you're in a Latin King hood, and you walking around saying foe in them, it's going to be a bad day for you. 
That's just the reality of it. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about more of this in my book. It's coming out um, in a couple of months. So if you come across this video a little bit later, just look in the description box and you will see the link to my book where I talk about how to stay safe in Chicago and how to survive Chicago. In some of my previous YouTube videos, I talk about how Chicago is similar to a Final Destination movie where death is always following you. You never know when it's going to come, where it's going to come. You got to always be on the lookout for it so you can avoid it. You know what I'm saying? Chicago is kind of like that because of the imbalance energy. But I'm going, I'm going to go into deep detail in the book. So that's what it is. So I just want to leave my reviews about that. And, you know, that's, that's the shot.